All right, um, my name is John Demergian. I'm part of Road to Status. My partner is Javad uh, Kazali and John Bashard and Mike Palak and all of our family and friends. I just want to say thank you to everybody for everything that you guys have done to help us get where we are today. We've got a long way to go, uh, but this is a huge milestone for all of us. And all of you have played some part in it, whether you are directly related to us or the business. Uh, we're all kind of here for the same things, and that includes the people from Forward.us who have been extremely, extremely supportive of what we're doing, and we're hoping that we've been as uh, supportive of what you guys are doing as well. Um, I also want to thank the folks from Welcome.us. It's, a, it's a, a, a connected community there, uh, and we're all here to celebrate a lot of things. So there's three things we're really celebrating today. One. Um, is the launch of our business. So Road to Status, if you guys don't know what we do, we've essentially created some technology to help move the immigration process and the paperwork associated with it along a little bit faster. So similar to like what you might know of like a TurboTax, help you get from point A to point B very quickly, very inexpensively, and very safely. Uh, and it's something that was desperately needed. Javad will talk a little bit more about that later as to why we got into this business, but it was a very big gap and something that we thought we could uh, fill with uh, our subject matter expertise and the help of a lot of people in this room. Um, also wanted to thank Sprout Social for being super, super gracious with their time and, uh, and, and space and effort and all kinds of different things they've helped us with. Um, so while, as, we, as we continue uh, the night, one of the other things that we're here uh, to celebrate is WISC. And Ricky and David and him and his family have been extremely supportive of our business. And again, as well, we hope we've been supportive of your business as well. But uh, they're celebrating their second year anniversary. I think it was this week or last week. So congrats to you guys for two each solid. Uh, the cat's out of the bag, but uh, congratulations. They're opening up their second location here in, is it July? <laughs> July 7th? Okay, so we all know where we're going on July 7th. Where is it, John? Um, Ricky, can you tell us where it is? It's in uh, Logan Square, Diversity in Sacramento. Logan Square, Diversity in Sacramento. So for those of you that are living up that way, you got a place to go now. So awesome. And um, so we'll talk a little bit more about that as well. And then Officially, this is Immigrant Heritage Month, and that's kind of the tie-in with everyone that's here from Forward.us and Welcome.us and the spirit of that. So I wanted to ask uh, Deirdre Shannon, where is she? Hi, Deirdre. Deirdre is awesome, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about Forward.us as well as Immigrant Heritage Month in general, give you guys a quick background, and then we'll keep things moving along. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for coming tonight. Uh, my name is Deirdre Shannon. I'm the Deputy National Organizing Director at Forward.us. Um, for those of you who haven't heard of us before tonight, um, Forward US is a bipartisan organization. We were founded to advocate for policies that make the American dream achievable in the 21st century. Um, our first issue and our central issue is uh, common sense immigration reform. Um, so we're really, really thrilled to be here with Road to Status, both to celebrate Immigrant Heritage Month and to celebrate the launch of their new business. Um, it's rare to find, it's, it's easy to find people who, are, who see the immigration system and understand that it's broken. It's much harder to find people who are motivated to do something about it. Um, I'm an organizer, so I'm in the business of finding those people. So it's, but it's, it's especially inspiring and motivating to know that there are folks out there like Road to Status looking for ways to make the system easier and more affordable for people to, who have to work through it who don't have a choice. Um, so we're thrilled to be here at the day of their launch and celebrate this new exciting stage in their business. Um, and we're also here to celebrate Immigrant Heritage Month. So for those of you who didn't know, um, every June we celebrate Immigrant Heritage Month. It's a moment to pause and reflect on the thing that brings most of us together as Americans, which is the fact that we came here from someplace else. So whether your family came over in the last two years or whether you're like me and you came from Ireland in the 1850s, this is an exciting moment um, to sit and pause and reflect on the shared immigrant heritage that brings us all together. In particular this year, we're launching the I Am an Immigrant campaign. Um, some of you may have seen us in People magazine. Um, but Im I Am an Immigrant is a solidarity campaign. It's a public awareness campaign bringing together people like me, whose immigration story goes back five generations, um, to people like the folks on our staff who have come over in the last five years. Um, the idea is to have everyone, whether they're, they're, they go back to the 1800s or the Mayflower, to, to two years ago, stand in solidarity together um, and celebrate our shared immigrant heritage. 
Um, so if you're excited about the opportunity to do that, um, I hope that you have the opportunity to talk to Sarah and Yvette, um, who are our Chicago team. Um, they're in the I Am an Immigrant t-shirts, which you can also have if you join us on social media and they'll walk you through how to do that. Um, so please make sure to see them. So I'd love to kick it back over to you guys. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Deirdre. Could, uh, could we get Ricky and his brother David to come down in front? Maybe we're going to... Candace, we push you guys over just a little bit. Burgers! <laughs> All right, guys. Um, come on over here. Um, I don't normally read from a script, but because this is an award, I want to make sure that we do cover all the things that are, uh, that are out. I've known Ricky a few years now, and I've gotten to know his brother as well. Uh, we, did a, we did a small story on these guys, kind of for fun. Uh, I came here for lunch one day, and I started talking to Ricky about what we were thinking about doing with Road to Status, and he thought it was a really great idea and gave us some really good perspective. And as we've gotten to know Forward.us and the spirit of Immigrant Heritage Month and all the different things, and you know, our founder Javad is an immigrant, and I'm the son of an immigrant, and it's just it's such a powerful message and a powerful thing. And everyone's got a great story, and these guys had a really really cool story um, that uh, we shared it with the invite and stuff. It's on our website and so on, and I'll be happy to send it to anyone that uh, is interested in reading it. Um, but you guys can talk a little bit more about it, uh, you know, throughout the night and so on. And you'll see interviews and such, but. These guys kind of, uh, in my opinion, and in the opinion of our business and the people that know them, kind of um, just exude the American dream and, their, uh, and hard work and entrepreneurship. So we, uh, as, as following forward, we saw that there were some really cool organizations putting out some very interesting and very cool entrepreneurship awards and we kind of made one of our own. So this is our, first, this is our official launch, so this is our first annual. Um, but it's the uh, Road to Status Immigrant Entrepreneurship Award, and we'd like to uh, present this to WISC uh, owners Ricky and David Rodriguez for their um, continued contributions to the community um, as, um, as, as folks that are continually bringing things back and growing their business. This is their second year anniversary here. They're opening up their second business uh, here in July 7th, I think we mentioned earlier, and they've just been on a tear. I think they've got what just just a few you know a few people on Twitter now? What is it about? Uh, on Twitter, just a couple hundred. Uh, Facebook is just only eleven thousand. Oh jeez. <laughs> we got like twenty-five thousand on Instagram. All right, so so Ricky's going to be counting. Ricky's getting out of the out of the restaurant business. He's going to be running on social media with us and Sam and everybody else. So I wanted to just read what this award stands for. You'll be getting a certificate when, as soon as our printer is fixed. We are a startup. <laughs> uh, it works. It just it's out of ink. Uh, so this is to recognize and honor exceptional immigrant businesses and individuals who have chosen to make this country their home and have demonstrated leadership in business, a chosen profession, or in the civic arena. The goal of the 2016 Road to Status Immigrant Entrepreneurship Award is to celebrate our immigrant heritage and recognize hardworking immigrants whose local achievements will serve as a role model and an inspiration to all who reside in their communities and across the country. Regardless of their land of birth, award winners are recognized for their significant local achievements, having demonstrated a commitment to excellence in the following areas. Entrepreneurship, professional excellence, spirit and advocacy for immigration reform. And I think you guys all exude, just exude that, and I'm grateful to be your friends, and thank you for supporting our business. Thank you, thank you guys, congratulations. Congratulations on your business. Burgers. Uh, yeah, Bacon. <laughs> Uh, this definitely means a lot. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Take your time, man. We got all night. Uh, Just kidding. Can we hold it for you? <laughs> this. Who's <laughs> up first? That's okay. Just speak. You don't need the microphone. This is your house, man. I'm in your house. It means a lot. <laughs> That's it, man. That's all you're gonna say. All right, guys. Thank you very much. We're gonna. Um, I wanted to introduce. Um, I wanted to introduce Javad uh, Kazali. Javad has been a friend of mine for over 20 years. Someone that I know and trust and love very much, and um, I couldn't be uh, happier and more grateful to be in business with him. And what an exciting time for all of us. And I'd like to have him talk a little bit about our business and kind of close things out and give a toast. 
you wouldn't mind. I feel like I should have a drink in my hand if I'm going to get some. As, as usual, I'll be getting you a drink. <laughs> so, this is the one part where I'm going to look um, at my phone to just thank some people. Um, John has already uh, thanked Sprout Social, who's been great to us, um, both from a support, um, from providing us space, to providing us guidance on social media, to providing John and the rest of the team with all types of guidance as to what we should do as a startup to hopefully get to a level that we're as successful as they are. I know we've got people here from the Illinois um, Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, the Erie House, the WorldRelief.org, NIJC and the Heartland Alliance, um, ITA, the Forward Innovation Council, the American Immigration Lawyers Association. We've got some attorneys with some firms that we're working with. Um, where are the mats? I know the mats are, are here from, uh, yeah, they're over there. There's two of them. I still don't know which one's Meltzer and which one's Hellron. Um, so I want to thank them for being here. What you just saw earlier is why we do this. I used to work for the um, government doing immigration cases. And it became very apparent to me really early on that our immigration system was broken. That there were people like Ricky and his brother who are the type of people we want in the United States that can help us. Question, how many people do you employ here? All right now, 30. 30 people here. How many will you employ at the next place? About another 20. Okay, so about 50 jobs made by these two guys here. And corner of Chicago. Imagine that replicated all across America. And the idea, one of the things I show my clients in my immigration practice is the immigration laws of the United States. Other than the IRS code, the immigration laws are, are the largest law in the history of America. 2,500 pages of actual laws. And I thought, as I was in court and as I worked through the government, I saw that a lot of people, other than your family's health, the most important thing to an immigrant is legal status in the United States. And I saw people being taken advantage of. I don't know how many of you guys know about notarios. Notarios, they did a, a news special here in Chicago once where they went to 48 notario offices and they found 47 of them were involved in the unlicensed, um, un unlicensed legal practice. And they were giving people bad immigration advice. And I thought, is there a way, and every good immigration attorney that I know is at full capacity. Every group like NIJC and the Immigrant Alliance and every group that's out there to help immigrants is at full capacity. I thought, is there a way to make this better? Is there a way to make this more streamlined? And I came up with this idea. And then I realized, I have no idea how to make this idea into something real. Um, that's when the John, John Bouchard, John Demersion, eventually Mike Pallett came on and took my idea and made it a functional product that we're really excited about. Um, two other people I want to thank before I'm done here. Um, oh, actually, three. I want to thank you guys for hosting us. I will have more of those churros because... <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by looking at me, but I like churros. Um, um, <laughs> um, we've got Joe Garia. He's back here. I'm from St. Louis. Joe and his wife came down from St. Louis. Joe and his team led our first round of investment. They bought in and got us the money that we needed to take this idea, which I think is a really good idea because I came up with it, and this, <laughs> and this product that our team put together that is an amazing product but it doesn't do us any good unless people know about it. Joe was able to help us out with getting the money we need to get it out there. Um, and then the last person I want to thank is John Demersion. John has broken himself the last few months getting not, you guys can see how intense he is about something like this. Imagine how he is about like a piece of pro a product that isn't working and having to fix that. I mean, I, he's got twin boys that are four. Yeah. Four years old, and I get texts from him at like eleven, like eleven o'clock when he's going to bed, and at five thirty when he wakes up. He's, he's working. He responds. <laughs> Often I don't because I don't want to encourage that behavior. So this couldn't have happened without John. Um, 
I want to thank you all for being here. Have some more food. Have some more drinks. Thanks. Thank you, Forward. You know, it's they're right there. Um, if I don't give you these, he's going to keep talking. So let's turn like, it into a toast. Yeah. Yes. Let's, well, I would just like to point out, though, one of their founders was Mark Zuckerberg. So I'm like the Mark Zuckerberg of what's <laughs> <laughs> a toast, thank you for coming. Thank Hopefully, you. tell everybody about us. Thank you.